Two minutes left. Shoot. Last one. All right. What I'd like to do is show you guys how to factor by grouping. Uh, whenever you see four terms, anytime you see four terms, um, automatically think in your brain factor by grouping. And the reason why I call it factor by grouping is what we're going to do is we're going to group our first two terms and are going to group the last two terms. Okay, so that's really all we're doing because we can't, there's no special factoring technique that we have for four terms. Um, so if I can group the first two terms and group the last two terms, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to specialize now in just factoring out those first two terms. So if I look at this, what can I factor out of 4x cubed minus 20x squared? Well, out of here, I can factor out a 4x squared. And I'll be left with an x minus 5. Then, over here, you want to look at it and say, well, what do these two share? Well, they don't share an x, but they do share a 7, because 7 goes into 7, and 7 goes into negative 35. So if I factor out a positive 7, I'm left with an x minus 5. Now, here comes the big transition for a lot of students. A lot of students can do this. And if you guys remember, if I was just going to say, let's just make this 4x squared y plus 7y. You guys would both notice that they both share a y, and you can factor out a y, right? You guys understand I can pull out a y. Well, instead of using a y, we're going to say an x minus 5. Because that's really what's happening. I'm going to factor out now an x minus 5. Okay? So when I do that, when I factor out of x minus 5, what's left over is 4x squared plus 7. Then I can write those as two factors and um, and now my uh, now my uh, polynomial with four terms has been factored.